And open for business tonight. The Sacramento area's biggest card room is now in full operation with 30 poker tables plus blackjack and baccarat. Well, for Citrus Heights, this means 400 jobs in a building that was sitting vacant for years for the owners. It is a high stake bet that face to face card playing can survive in this age of Indian casinos and perhaps soon to be legalized online gambling. The new Stones Gambling Hall is located just off Interstate 80 in Citrus Heights. And that's where KCR 3's David Beenick is live with how the first day is going so far. Has it been busy, David? Well, Lisa, I can tell you that the Citrus Heights police have set up uh, signs along Antelope Road warning of possible backups. We'll give you a look from Live Copter 3 in just a moment of how big that backup is so far. But first, a look inside where it seems that they have been busy. <laughs> Most of the tables were full this afternoon as people played their first hands and got their first look inside the new Stones Gambling Hall. I work right around the block, so yeah, I'm going to be here probably daily. There's poker, blackjack, and other card games, but no slot machines and no betting against the house like at Indian casinos, including Thunder Valley Indian Casino, just 13 miles away. What makes you think you can you can compete with true Indian casinos? There are a lot of people in Sacramento, and the Indian casinos are amazing facilities. They're beautiful, fantastic. We're just a neighborhood card room. It's actually two card rooms with two separate licenses. Each one can have up to 15 poker tables all under one roof with a bar and restaurant as well. I mean if you look what's going on in California with the insertion of Nevada style gaming I think you're going to find that the card rooms are also pushing the envelope in terms of growth. One thing you won't find at the tables here is ashtrays and cigarettes. Unlike Indian casinos California law does apply here and there's no smoking. I'm not a smoker and I don't like smoke so I try to stay away from smoke. So is that a plus for you? Oh, definitely. Three years ago, the U.S. government opened the door to online gambling, and so far three states, Nevada, Delaware, and New Jersey, have legalized it. But the owners and players here say they're not worried about that either. It is an entree to introduce poker to uh, beginners so they can learn the, learn the skills. But to really test your skill in poker, you got to play a live game. You want to come out here and play. You don't want to sit at home. I'd rather get out, wouldn't you? Now, managers here say that most of the 400 employees will make minimum wage plus tips. And they say with those tips, take home pay can go up over more than $20 an hour. Live in Citrus Heights, David Bean and Casey Harry, wow. 3 News. More than 20 an hour. All right, so David, if you don't play the card games against the house, so to speak, and the card room can't make win bets, how do they make their money? Well, essentially, they're going to make their money off of the drinks and food that they sell here. They also do get a cut, a fee that's charged on each hand played up to about 15 bucks a hand. Interesting way to do it. We'll see if they can compete in this market. Thanks for that, David.